mwelo wala tukwa Iseni tumana kapitu chitio mwelo Hilda and I were on a mission. We had lives to save and medical providers to train, but time was running out. We needed community women to convince others to come to the clinic to get checked. Nothing works better than word of mouth and a five-star review. One patient volunteered to help. She had a sweet smile on her old wrinkly face as she waited nervously to get screened. She'd heard about cervical cancer, but she was scared. In Zambia, cancer is usually a death sentence. Cervical cancer takes away more women than any other cancer. The idea of prevention was just as foreign as the young white Mzungu standing in front of her, asking for help. But she wanted to get checked anyways. She wanted to make sure she was healthy. So that morning, she banded together with her friends from the village and marched 10 kilometers from home, all in the name of prevention. Five years ago, my world changed with a phone call. I heard the genetics counselor hesitate. And then she told me that I tested positive for my family's broken gene. Odds are I would get breast and ovarian cancer at some point in my life. Suddenly, my time for this world felt very, very short. Eventually, I realized I could use this information to change my destiny. So I traded in my deadly breast tissue for silicone implants and shared my story with a whole lot of people. I wanted my sisters and friends to know that you don't have to wait for cancer. You can stop it from happening in the first place. After the operating room, I found my way back to the classroom because I don't want anyone to suffer needlessly from cancer. And I mean anyone, from the rich and famous in Southern California to the elderly woman from a rural village in Zambia.